Welcome back. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can run a Sonaric node and be part of this 14,700 people that is currently running the node. Now remember that this node is incentivized. You are going to be rewarded. And the best place to run this node is on VPS. So from the website, you can see that you can run their Sonaric app on Linux, macOS, Windows and whatever. But we'll be using VPS, which is server. And you can see that you just have to set it up then you just have to register your node which i'm also going to show you and after that you will end points based on your contribution and those points will correlate to the sonaric token when they do their tge i want you to know that this is a detailed guide which means even though you have no experience in running any crypto node all you just need to do is to follow my guide effectively then you'll be able to set up the sonaric node but before i proceed to this video I want you to know that instead of you waiting for me to upload content on YouTube, you can just follow me on Twitter where I give out detailed guide on latest egg jobs, you understand? And also, you can join my Telegram community and my WhatsApp channel, which you can also get the link down below this video. And with that, you will get the latest crypto updates and the latest egg drop opportunity at your fingertips. So make sure that you join my Telegram community and my WhatsApp community with the link below this video. Now, before you start running this node, you need to acknowledge the hardware requirements so that you know the kind of VPS you want to buy. And from what you can see, you can see that the minimal requirement for this node is 4 gig RAM, but they recommend 8 gig RAM, you understand? Then the minimal core is 2 core, which is dual core, but they recommend 4 plus core. Then the minimal storage is 20 gig, but they recommend 100 plus for SSD, you understand? So before you start running any node, you want to acknowledge the system requirement or the hardware requirements so that you will know the kind of VPS you want to buy. And this applies to other projects, even outside Soneric. Now, with that being said, the best VPS service provider is always Contabo because Contabo is designed for more advanced technical tasks and blockchain project that is why anybody that asks anybody you ask will always say that get a vps from contable because contable is actually strong enough and from my experience using more than seven vps service prov provider contable is the best because they are more secure and they are more advanced they are better for more advanced tax you understand and their support is actually the best because you can just ask a question and you get a feedback instantly and you can see currently that they are doing a no setup fee which is part of their end of year promotional campaign so all you just need to do is to click the first link below this video then it will take you to this section and from our node system requirements you can see that vps1 matches our specification very well it cost 5.5 dollars the core is for CPU core, you understand, which is what they want. 6 gig RAM, which is exactly what they want. Then 400 gig SSD, one snapshot, and 32 bit terabyte traffic, you understand. Although, if you want to run more advanced node, now I'm using this guide as a general guide. You can apply it with other nodes, you understand. If you want to run more advanced node based on the specification, you just have to come to Contabo. Then you can see the specification that matches the node you want to run you understand my point so in this case i'll be selecting this first one which is 5.5 dollar and remember that i'll be uploading more node content so make sure that you stick around so when you click on select which is this first one it will take us to this section whereby you just have to enter or select the period the period by which you want to run the node if it's three months you just have to select three months and pay direct if it's one month then you just have to select it and pay direct you understand now remember that the longer the period the cheaper it is then you just have to scroll down i like using european union because i don't just know but i just like it and you can see that the storage type is 400 ssd and that's exactly what we wanted now on the image side you, you just have to leave it on umbutu you understand then scroll down and click on generate password now what i like doing is that after i generate password i just open a note on my computer then i save that password because that is what i will use to assess my putty which is my ssh you understand so after i after i save my password i just have to scroll down then acknowledge everything and from the right you can see that there's no setup fee and i'll get a credit back you understand 
and it is limited now when i click next it will take me to this review your order section now this if you are a new user this is where you'll be able to see where to add card and be able to make payments and there's a card that works best remember that nigerian card doesn't work so although zenith bank works to an extent but i'm going to show you the best card that work best on contable and any online services so all you just need to do is to open a new tab or click the second link below this video then create a gray account it is very easy within five minutes you'll be done creating a gray account it is actually the best i mean in terms of all these online payments and whatever so after you create account you just have to log in back to the account then download your mobile app and this is how the dashboard look like you can see that i have 1200 naira in my naira account so what you want to do is after you create account you verify with your nin then your bank statement to verify your address and come to account then request for dom account you understand so after you request for dom account you can just or go to the naira tab then deposit naira into your gray account then convert the naira to dollars and come to card and on the card section since you are a new user you will need to request for virtual card but it cost five dollars and that is for like five years i think so and it's it's worth it you understand so after you got the card and your account is set up you just have to convert the the dollar that you have in your dollar account to inside your card you understand my point so what you need to do deposit naira convert the naira to dollar then use the dollar to fund your card that is exactly the route so in my own case i will just unfreeze the card you understand my point because i want to use it to make payments then i like i like freezing it after i'm done because i don't want to i don't want to be paying some kind of services that i don't use so i like freezing the card so on this card since i want to use it to make payments i already added the card details to my people account so my payment method is my people and the card is actually on the paper so it saves a lot of time once you set it up the first time so what i just need to do is to click on make payment you understand then that is it the moment you get this quick survey it means that your order has been received and that's exactly how it is so i will come back to my gray account and freeze it so you can see that i've made payments with this my card my so what i need to do is to freeze it back so that other old tiny tiny services will not chop this five dollars i can use it to make other payments on more important stuff and that is how to buy vps with gray card and it works all the time you understand my point and this is me using it and telling you that it works and this is exactly how it is done now after you have made payments on this contable if you are a new user it will require you to reply that email that they will send to you with your name your phone number your address then give them one or two lines you understand so you can see i already added my name my address my phone number then my passport you can use your nin and it works and that's how it is so after you send the email you just have to wait for one to two minutes then you'll get a feedback you understand and that's exactly how to buy a vps now let's move to how to set up your sonaric node before i start running any node i like copying the details of the vps and paste it on my notepad you understand it saves me the time for me to reload page for me to get a detail that i need you understand so i recommend you do the same then i'll come back to my vps now the next thing to do is to open putty i believe by now that you should have known how to download putty you just have to go to putty.com download then install you understand if you don't know how to install putty you can watch my previous video on how i did it so you can set it up you understand so once i open my putty i just have to enter my ip address that i got from my node details then take note of what where i clicked after i enter my ip address i go to selection then on the selection tab i go to ctrl shift v this will enable me to copy and paste from my keyboard so you want to set it up before you enable the node and once you click enter and you get this notification or this pop-up it means that the vps is active then i just have to enter root the enter then i will not enter the password i got for my vps then what i normally do again after i enter the password or log into my node is to split my screen now remember that for you to paste in your password 
you press Control Shift V. The same time, Control Shift V. The password will not show because it's password, but you just have to enter. You just have to press Enter, then it will show up for you. So in that case, let me just split my screen so that it will be easy for me to copy and paste. So this is the guide I will be using, and I will link it down below. Now remember that you need to listen carefully because everything on this guide is not meant for us. You understand my point? We just have to take the important part and we set up the node. It's up and we record it. Then we submit and we are done. So most of this, this task is too complex. So I would just recommend you follow my step gradually. Now what I normally do is on the VPS, I will enter sudo apt update. Then it will update the server for me to start running my node. Now if it require any updates or upgrade, I will enter sudo apt upgrade you understand so you can even see it on the installation manual it only says sudo apt upgrade and sudo apt upgrade dash y so all you just need to do is to type in then wait for it to load up it's going to take some time but you just have to wait for it to load up it's going to take some time so on the on the left you can see the code sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade in any node you are running, make sure that that is the first command you use, you understand, so that you will not encounter any issues, any error message at all. You get my point? And that's how it's done. So I'm just going to wait for this server to run, then complete. And you can see it's complete. So from the guide, you will see this second option that says sudo apt install coil make we get. So I just have to copy it, then control shift V to paste it. And wait for it to load up it's going to take some time like up to like two three minutes or even five minutes depending on your internet connection so you just have to wait for it to load up just as you can see you just have to wait for it to load up and now you can see that it's done so once it's done you move on to the next command and the next command is sonanic node so you just have to click on copy which is the copy icon then ctrl shift v to paste again then you'll be able to see this this image sonaric so it's actually installing the node and everything that you need on this vps so it's going to take some time another two to three minutes you just have to wait for it to load up and make sure that before you run any node make sure you have a stable internet connection if not you'll be in country error 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 you understand now you can see that it's done and due to some security reasons, I'll be covering my screen and some sensitive data. You can see that my node is actually the same as that of the guide. So all I just need to do is to enter Y. I want to save, I want to rename it, you understand? Then enter the details. I'll enter DMO, Sonaric, Client. I'll just type something. Maybe you can rename, rename it, you understand? So that you know that this is your node. But in my own case, I'll just have to put my name. But if you don't want to rename it, it's still okay. Then it will ask for you to save the data. Why to enter? Then it will request for you to enter password for this your node. So you just have to create a password. Then confirm the password. You understand? So you just have to enter the same password that you put before and press enter and consider it's done. Now due to some security reasons also again, I'm also going to blow some parts so that uh, you guys don't have access to my node so what i normally do is i copy those details and save it on my notepad so then later I will, I will not have to do some kind of sorting and what's important you understand and that's exactly what to do now the next thing to do is to update the node you understand so you can just enter sudo apt update you do now update the current state to the server you get my point and it's going to take some time but you just have to wait for it to load up then it's done now the next option is that optional aspect now we don't want to do that that is where i want us to skip you don't want to do that optional part now since your node is up and running you just have to come to this official sonaric guide which i will also link down below then you'll be able to see their discord link but i can also link down the discord link directly below this video so after you run up your node you can just come back to this video then click the link and join their discord server you can see we only have only 18 people and currently there are less than 15,000 people that is running this node 
which means if they want to reward people, you, you can imagine their location in the summer points. And this project is just more of like five, six months old project. So you still have enough time to run their node and earn as much point as possible. So on the Discord server, all you just need to do is to go to the verify tab, then verify, continue, continue, then enter this verification code and just make sure that you get your account verified so that you can have access to the many channels in that server and just as you can see my account is verified so you just have to go down to the general aspect then use this command this slash command then slash node they'll be able to see the option to add the node you understand then when you when you enter you're going to get a verification code that you want to use to activate your node so you just have to click copy the code excluding the i think those dash you understand so now all you just need to do is to follow the instruction by coming back to the guide so it says that you just have to copy the code on your vps server by using this command so this is the command snark node register code you understand so you come back to the vps then you enter the i'll just type in the sonaric node register then that code please i'll clean it then enter my my code that i copied so i just have to for you to paste the code rather you just have to enter Control shift v then you are done and press enter when you press enter you wait for it to work and do its magic and you can see that it says success that means your node is already registered and when you go to your discord you'll be able to see that i got a notification from the node registration feed that says that my node have been registered and i've been granted the operator role on their discord better access which means that my node is up and running so if you have any question regarding sonaric node you can just join my telegram community or my whatsapp community they ask a question and I'll try my best to answer the one I can, you understand? But most times, you can just join their Discord community and ask the developer directly. And as you might already know, I'm DMO, so thank you for watching and see you on my next video.